Officials along our nation's southern border debate on what to do with the thousands of undocumented children. We're learning more about what organizations in Middle Tennessee are doing to help. News Channel 5's John Cole Newland is in the newsroom. John Cole, what's the biggest challenge for children and families who are seeking asylum by crossing the border? Yeah, good evening, Roy. For many of the children running from cartels and gangs in Central America, the only thing that stands between them and their family members who may already be here in the United States or Tennessee is a lawyer. But thanks to a handful of local lawyers, many of those children and family members are getting that legal help absolutely free. Uh, we hear time and time again from young people whose parents have been murdered right in front of them. Since 2015, Wade Monday has served as the executive director for Tennessee Justice for Our Neighbors, an organization that provides legal help for immigrant families and children looking to resettle in Tennessee. They have witnessed their family members being murdered. They have been personally recruited to join a gang or die. Immigrants resettling here is nothing new. In 2015, Monday recalls a surge of unaccompanied minors arriving in Middle Tennessee. In a span of two years, 4,000 immigrant children made Middle Tennessee their new home. These were children who were fleeing gang violence in Central America. In 2018 alone, there have been 600 unaccompanied minors resettled in Middle Tennessee, 200 in Davidson County alone. His team of immigration attorneys are working with bigger law firms to create pro bono teams that will help asylum seekers, many of whom may now be sitting in detainment centers on our nation's southern border with family members already here in the volunteer state. One of the hallmarks of American democracy and our founding fathers believed is that everyone has the right to counsel, regardless of where they're from. Now, there are local attorneys who are planning on visiting some of those detainment centers in the state of Texas, which have been there for many years. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that. And if you are interested in learning more about the Tennessee Justice for Our Neighbors, we posted their link on our website, newschannel5.com. In the newsroom, I'm John Newland, News Channel 5.